of hours ago, the Defence Minister of India, Rajnath Singh, issued a statement. In the statement, he said that India has vowed to avenge the attack on two India-linked merchant vessels, adding that India will find the perpetrators from the depths of the ocean. The Defence Minister made these remarks during a commissioning ceremony of the INS Imphal. Let me quote his exact remarks. Nowadays, turbulence in the sea has increased a lot. India's growing economic and strategic power has filled some forces with jealousy and hatred. The government of India has taken the recent drone attack in the Arabian Sea and the earlier attack in the Red Sea very seriously. The Indian Navy has increased surveillance on the sea. Whoever has carried out this attack, we will find them, even if it is from the depth of the ocean. Those behind these attacks would be brought to justice. Now remember, this merchant vessel, a Liberian flagged ship hemmed by an Indian crew, was attacked by a projectile last week. The vessel was then brought to Mumbai by the Indian Navy's escorting ships. The Navy said in a statement that it appeared to be a drone attack. And then we have a Gabon flagged commercial oil tanker. Reportedly, it came under a drone attack in the Red Sea and reports said all 25 Indian crew members on board were safe. Now, in response to these attacks, the Indian Navy had deployed aircraft and destroyers in the Arabian Sea in order to maintain a deterring presence. The Ministry of Defense said that three stealth-guided destroyers were deployed in various areas of the sea. And besides this, it was also using long-range maritime patrol aircraft for quote-unquote domain awareness. But the question is, who really was behind these attacks? Well, India has not named anyone yet, only that the ship was struck by a drone. The U.S., meanwhile, has uh, named what it thinks was the perpetrator, and that's Iran. In a statement, the U.S. has said that the strike was carried out from Iran, an accusation which Tehran has dismissed as baseless and repetitive. Nonetheless, here's what a Pentagon spokesperson had to say. The vessel a Liberia flag, Japanese-owned and Netherlands-operated chemical tanker was struck at approximately 10 a.m. local time in the Indian Ocean, 200 nautical miles from the coast of India by a one-way attack drone fired from Iran, quote-unquote. Now, India has not commented on these claims yet, but it is taking these incidents very seriously. In fact, the timing and the place of the Defence Minister's remarks is also interesting. Like I said, he made the statement during a commissioning ceremony of INS Imphal. A ceremony aimed at strengthening India's naval power. Now, for the unworst, the INS Imphal is a stealth-guided missile destroyer of the Indian Navy. The ship has been named in recognition of the Indian soldiers who fought in the Battle of Imphal during the Second World War. So, India is clearly making big strides in strengthening its maritime defences. And at the same time, it has made it absolutely clear that any attacks on its maritime interests or any attacks in waters where Indian vessels travel will in no case be tolerated. And here's hoping that the message has reached those behind these incidents. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.